Hey guys, Professor Bill of Comic Book University and Venom first host issue number two of five. I'm pretty sure it's five. I'm going to say it's five. All right. All right. So this was just another good Marvel comic this week, man. <laughs> Something in the water this week, baby. So Mike Costa is the writer. Mark Bagley and Ron Lim are the pencilers. Andrew Hennessy and Scott Hanna are on inks. And Dano Sanchez Almara is on colors. Uh, VC's Clayton Cowles lettering it up. Bagley and Richard Eisenhoff is are the uh, color artists. Excuse me, cover artists. Jeez. And uh, oh, there's a variant cover for, uh, by Rod Reese. So, um, yeah, dude. <laughs> Freaking Eddie is jacked up beyond belief and he sees this Kree and the Skrull fighting and yes they're still fighting from the old Kree Skrull war days. Now we still don't know what's going on with the Skrull. All right, we still don't know exactly what's going on, but we do know by the end of this issue is that this Kree hero isn't all he's cracked up to be. Now, I am going to say this. In the Kree Scroll War, it has to be understood that regardless of who won or who lost, who was right, who was wrong, the fact of the matter is that even though the Kree are just as ridiculously evil and bloodthirsty as the, uh, the, the, the Scroll and the Kree are both just as bloodthirsty as each other, the fact is that in the beginning, the Kree were always a violent, genocidal race, always a very racist race. Um, but the Skrulls originally were a highly developed, sophisticated, technologically superior, and on top of that, peaceful race. And the Kree, and how unbelievably evil they were, that's what actually changed the Kree, so that they they had to become very bloodthirsty just to survive. Otherwise, they'd have had zero chance against these Kree. Um, so there were a couple of things that were said in here, like the idea that the, the Skrulls couldn't match the Kree and their technology. find that hard to believe, but okay. <laughs> um, and the idea that, you know, oh, we're going to bring peace to our system. I'm thinking uh, the Cree word for peace is usually pretty synonymous with conquering. Because <laughs> when, you, when you've when squashed your enemies, it's hard for there to be any more fights, you know? Uh, yeah. So, so I was proven right by the end of this. This is really good writing. And the art, just dude, don't even get me started on the art, man. In any every, every single way, shape, and form, this was absolutely superior art, man. Damn, this was good. Um, so we don't know about the scroll yet, and I don't know that we can necessarily trust the scroll. But the way that she was beaten here was so funny, it was so good, it was just so great. Um, I'm I'm gonna just make some comments. After all the patience that this Cree has displayed for all these years trying to find, trying to hunt down the uh, the Clintar, the, the, the Venom symbiote Clintar, only to find it and then be rejected and then immediately go into, well, I'm going to have to kill a baby in order to, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, get what I want, is absurd. And I can't wait to see this guy. And, and literally, like, I don't want to see this guy being a recurring enemy. He's too stupid to be a recurring enemy. You know what I'm saying? The only stupid character I like seeing coming back is Turk. Because he does actually get smarter. This Kree is too damn stupid to continue existence. You know what I'm saying? Like, he could have waited. He could have bargained for the, the baby uh, symbiote. There's so much he could have done. You know, instead, he's just like, no, I need this stuff now, and this is the way I'm going to do it. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. That level of stupidity does not deserve to be rewarded with life. That may sound really mean on my part, but we are still talking about comic books. <laughs> so, yeah, this absolute moron. Ah, he is... Like, he is Cree through and through. And yes, that sounds racist, but I might, I remind you, this is just a comic book. <laughs> this guy is like the epitome of a Cree. He is the, the, the superior blue-skinned Cree. He's good-looking. He's got, the, like, all the best gene tech was given to him and his, you know? 
and he treats everybody else like they're useless. The only reason why he even gave Eddie the time of day is because he knows that the symbiote has to choose, and he was trying to do it the right way first. But obviously he had nefarious means. He still has nefarious means if he did what he did in order to get that Clintar. Dude, what an absolutely evil being this guy is and dumb to boot. So, yeah, I am really looking forward to, within the next three issues, him actually being killed. Like I said, I don't ever want to see this cat again. I, I don't care. I don't want to see a story later where it turns out he's actually really a good guy. Nope, 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 nope. Not this level. Not this level. You can't say this guy was... He was just so desperate because, because what? Because he just spent the last several, how many years hunting through space to try and find where the symbiote was? Come on, man. Come on. So Plus, he could have just gone back, all that hunting, he could have just gone back to, uh, what do you call it, to Clintar itself and found a, a symbiote, you know? So no, no, this guy's too stupid to continue. And I'm done with that. Anyway, I, 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 don't don't mistake this the idea that this isn't a good comic book. This is a great comic book. I'm loving this. I just don't like this guy, or at least I enjoy hating this guy, this bad guy. Uh, but this is a really good comic book, dude. <laughs> I'm digging the heck out of this. And at this point, it's like having uh, what the heck was his name? The the honky tonk man being the 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 intercontinental champion because everybody would tune in just to see if this was the day he was going to be defeated. Well, likewise. I, I'm excited and all over this book just because I can't wait to see this guy get his in the end. You know, two to the chest, one to the head. But he's just a comic book. Just a comic book. All right, guys. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Comic Book University. Class dismissed.